Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. Today we are gonna cover array slicing. So let's get started. So first of all, what is array slicing? Slicing means taking elements from one given index to another index. Here, instead of passing an array index, we pass a slice. So the syntax is that we pass a starting element and an ending element that is denoted by start and end respectively. We can also define the number of steps we want to take while slicing. So we can pass either two parameters start and end or we can pass three parameters that are start, end and the step. So now the question arises, what if I ignore or don't pass these three parameters? If we don't pass start, it is taken as zero. If we don't pass end, it is taken as the length of array in that dimension. And if we don't pass step, it is taken one by default. Now we can also slice the array using negative indexes. So this is a brief introduction to array slicing. Now let's move on to the coding part. So guys, let me just import numpy as np and hit enter. Now I'm gonna write array name or arr is equal to np.array. And now I'm gonna pass a Python list to it. Let it be one comma two comma three comma five and hit enter. Now let's slice elements from index 1 to index 5. Sorry, here we have indexes from 0 to 4. That is size minus 1. So if I pass... So we are gonna slice elements from index 1 to index 4 and I'm gonna write print array name arr and I'm gonna give start as 1 and end as 4 that is the last index and I'm gonna press enter so it displayed 2 3 and 4 so there's a very important observation to make here so what is that observation we can observe that it has included the value or the element at index one but it has not included the element at index 4 so it's not gonna include the value at index 4 so indexing will always neglect the element which is present at end or the parameter that is given so in general when we write array start colon n it will ignore the element at the ending index and it's gonna include the element at the start index so please keep this in mind because in questions related to output we can make this kind of silly mistake. So
so it's good to be careful so start will be included in the result while end won't be included in the result now let's see what happens when we don't pass start so i'm gonna write print arr so array has been printed now i'm gonna give it a slice so i'm gonna print arr i'm not gonna pass start this time so start is empty and i'm gonna give end as the third index so it should print one two and three as you can see the result is one two and three now let's see what happens when we don't pass end so let me just write print array name or arr and i'm gonna pass start as two and i'm not gonna pass any end let me just hit enter so at second index the value is three and since we have not passed an end it will take the size of array in that dimension that is five as end so it's gonna print three four and five minus one the valued fourth index so it print three four and five so here in above examples we did not pass the step size so by default it is taken as one as we already discussed now let's do or let's pass step size I'm gonna create a new array that is arr1 is equal to np.array and I'm gonna pass a list of a bigger size the current list was short in size so if I increase the step size there will be less elements so to exhibit or to display the method of slicing using step size I have created a new array and I've printed the existing array as well as the newly created array now let's pass step size and do the slicing so for the first array i'm gonna give the start as zero and i'm gonna give end as four and let the step size be equal to two so the value at 0th index is 1 and at 4th index is 5 so it should print the elements 1 and 3 sorry there was a mistake in the syntax so it shows the in invalid index or oh, sorry invalid syntax so let me just rectify it and do it again so this time i'm gonna write print arr and print arr1 again and let me just write the command again so i'm gonna write arr 0 4 and 2 so the result is 1 and 3 now let's do it for the second array so the start was 0 and the end was 8. So it displayed 1, 3, 5 and 7 as theoretically expected. 
Now, we have an observation to make here. If we observe carefully the command that we have written, have returned every other element from index 0 to 4 sorry uh, from the index 0 to 4 for the first array and every other element from index 0 to 8 in the second array. So now let's move on and print every other element in the whole array. So let's see how to return or print every other element in the whole array or entire array. So I'm gonna write print array name. I'm not gonna pass the start or end. I'm just gonna pass step size that is two. I'm gonna close the bracket and hit enter. So it has returned every other element in entire array. Now similarly return every other element in the second array. So it shows 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So we have returned every other element in the array. Now let's slice a 2D array. So I'm going to write ARR2 equal to NP dot array. And I'm going to pass two 1D arrays as its elements. Let them be 1, 2, 3, 4. And the other 1D array will be 1, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Sorry, there's mistake in parenthesis. So let me just do it again. I've created a 2D array. Now let me print it. So I've printed the array. Now I'm gonna slice. So So I'm gonna slice element or elements from index one two index four and uh, of course the index four will not be included and in second row so i'm gonna write print ARR or array name and I'm gonna give please be careful here we have to pass the first row and instead of column value we are gonna pass the slice so please be careful so I've passed sorry there was a mistake let me just correct it and And hit enter sorry the array name was written incorrectly so let me just change it to ARR2 so it has given us the corresponding values that are 6 and 7 now similarly we can pass 
the row value as a slice and give some column value or we can do both pass the row value as a slice or the column value as a slice so similarly we can slice a 3d array and in general we can slice an n-dimensional array So there's an assignment for you. Take, create, and slice a 3D array. Now, some of you must be wondering that can we slice an array using negative indexes or with negative indexes the answer is we can do it for sure so surely we can so I'm just gonna print the existing array and now I'm gonna slice it using negative indexes so first of all, we need the values of the indexes to slice. So let's slice from index minus three to index minus one. So let me just write the command that is print ARR minus 3 comma minus 1 sorry I need to pass the slice instead of these values so this kind of mistake is very common please be careful because you have to pass the slice and not the index so I have passed a slice and it has shown me the result 8 and